day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Celetina Michella from Ribakonu Construction. We also specialize in renewable energy. Ribakonu was established in 2008, January the 23rd. And as I said, we specialize in renewable energy where we do solar for photovoltaic, we also do biogas project. This project, they will assist our country because at the moment, South Africa is at the state where climate change is high. So by supporting this kind of project, it would assist even the unemployed people, and also it, it, it will eliminate poverty. As I said, the project that Ribakoni is doing, it's biogas project and the solar photovoltaic. The biogas project, it involves the storage from the existing municipal system, we converted it to a methane gas, then from there on, we, we produce electricity with it. That is electricity and gas. This is the picture of the digester. In terms of solar photovoltaic system, we source and we supply home solar system, solar street lights, off grid and grid, high solar photovoltaic. That is the picture. And this is my details, as you see. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Nuz Bukhadebe. I'm a film producer and a pro um, um, theater producer as well. We give training for free for cinematography and performance. We deal with um, camera, editing, sound effects, lighting, writing, um, producing, directing, all of those things to make a production. We also um, created jobs. Our former students have opened their own companies. They are shooting wild, and, um, wild productions. Um, our achievements, we have won awards um, in short film in Ekuruleni. Um, our way forward is to create more films that can compete in overseas and other countries. Um, I've brought a DVD for the presentation today, two films, a feature and a short film, all in one DVD for 50 Rand. And inside here, there are all my contacts. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. My name is Kefas Lubisi from Ward 5 of Orange Farm. Uh, I am doing building and construction. My company name is Going Places Construction and Projects. Uh, I have been doing this business from 2009. And I am not also working in the township, but I'm also working outside the communities. Uh, I have been working with the companies, the leading construction companies, which is WBH, WBHO and Group 5 companies and Steps Stocks companies. If you can, if you know the Nicolai Drive, 
there's a shopping center. There was a main contractor called WBHO. We were working there between Main and Nicolway Drive. Who bought that mall? Uh, is these hands. I was not the main contract because uh, it is difficult to get that tender because they will require you a lot of things that uh, you don't have. They will need uh, GB9 or GB8, some engineers that you companies have. So as a young entrepreneur, I don't have those things, but what they require for me, I can say I have it. Because most of things, the, import, the important things that they want is uh, safety files, uh, safety files, CIDBs, and uh, what, what else? Uh, First aid certificates and safety, rep, safety rep, safety representative. Uh, you need to have one guy to represent you, uh, you people while they are working on site. So those things I have as a, a, a young entrepreneur. So uh, that is why I'm getting opportunities to work with them as a subcontractor. I also and worked there by uh, if you see the UNISA, UNISA campus in Florida I'm the one who was subcontracted there I'm the one who built the UNISA those flats you, you, you can drive there through you see the beautiful flats now you think who built those flats it's us by these hands WBHO was just the main contractor, but they don't just do that job uh, themselves, they give that job to us. So we build, we plumb, we tile, we do every beautiful things that most of people, even the international people, when they come to this country, they see beautiful things, yeah, malls, whatsoever, being bold. They think that those companies, but those companies, they are using us to uh, do, to put their names in a good place to be. <laughs> also, I worked in diff different places, uh, including the Sidibeng municipality, uh, Sidibeng district municipality. If you can now go to the Ferenahen Sidibeng uh, district municipality, you will see the poles. Who installed those poles there uh, by white color and red color? Is me, my company, which is going places, construction and, and project. So I am proud of being a young entrepreneur, but I am also encouraging those big companies uh, to work with me, with me so that on the day is coming, I will be able, it can be uh, very important to me as I'm operating from my location. If in my location there's a, a offices for for my company as going places so that everyone knows that in our location we got a big company that, that does uh, building and construction works. Instead of going to something looking for a company who will come do the job here in township, but there's a, a building and construction young entrepreneurs in the townships. I also worked uh, just now, this year, uh, because everyone knows that 
long time ago on the mines, people, they were living uh, above 15 to 20 people, they were living in one room. So, but now the government came with this plan to that people, they must not stay in one room ab above 10 because they will just spread some infection to other employees there, some disease uh, like TBs, like other disease. So, they just hired a other contractor which, which was called is called Dinalit Engineering and Construction to do all the renovation, renovations there. So but it was us which we were renovating there. If you can go in South <laughs> if you can if you can go to South Deep uh, mine now based in Western area uh, it's called the gold fields, but now it's Sibanya gold mine. It's us, we're doing all the renovations, plumbing, putting geysers, uh, painting, everything which is done there, beautiful now, uh, converted to the guest house. It's us, uh, young entrepreneurs. So, I would like to say thank, thank you uh, to the NYDA to bring us here to present ourselves. Uh, we are looking forward to, to, to them to support us because we, we had things that we need to, to make, the, to compete with those uh, big guys. But we know that as they are leading construction, we won't beat them, but we need just to link with them. Thank you very much. And let me start by introducing myself. Uh, my name is Bonsa Makwela, and I'm the sole owner of ZAR Culture. Um, ZAR spelled as Z-A-R-K-U-L-C-H-A, but I'm not Kenny Gunene's cousin. And then the company that I, I do, I specialize in handmade product, uh, mostly baby blankets. I, bought, I got samples here. And then this one is made using a crochet. And then at the back, we've put a, a towel so that you are not only using it as a blanket, but also as, as a changing mat. And then the thing is, the, the thing these blankets are unique is that no, we haven't seen a machine that can do this type of a pattern. It's only handmade. And then other things that we sell that are baby products, I've got, a, I've got another thing, which is called a snuggle pillow. But this one is from a South African companies. Most of the things we import from China because we are faced, we are faced by challenges that uh, South African manufacturers only give uh, big companies that are ordering in higher volumes. So we had to import from uh, other countries like Japan and China. But at least there are South, other South African uh, manufacturers are now coming on board because they've uh, seen our business plan. And then, uh, in terms of uh, mass production, because most of the things are handmade, I've got a few other ladies that I'm working with, and they are willing to. To help, they, are, they, are, they are willing to help every time uh, there's an, the big order. And then uh, what we do is that we do not compromise on quality. So should we experience any, uh, you feel like the, the quality was not met, we are able to refund you 100% back, but we do not uh, compromise. And then our product are timeless. Uh, it is uh, important for small businesses uh, to sustain because they also have a small p uh, percentage of contributing when it comes to eradicating poverty and creating jobs. So, uh, because we have realized that uh, in small companies, uh, also they can employ, even though it's not uh, in big numbers, but they can also help in creating jobs because you know half a bread is better than no bread at all. We are, Zara Culture is one of the luckiest company that we are working with uh, NYDA in terms of marketing. And then hence I am now confident to say that in the next three months, we'll be able to sell our product online where you can Google our name, Zara Culture there. 
If ever you need our product for now, you can call us on 074-840-8193. It's 074-840-8193. Especially for our target market, which is mainly pregnant women and little babies. But even those who are planning to do baby showers and stuff, they are able to call us so that we can produce unique stuff for their babies. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, what I can say is that please make sure that in the next three months you are able to go to Google and Google Za Culture, which is Z A R K U L C H A. Thank you. Okay, firstly, I would like to thank the program director and the moderator. Uh, good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zuza Mbata, and I'm the co-founder and um, um, from uh, the company known or that is called Abasha Innovations. Um, our company is a clothing manufacturing, distributing, and retailing company of progressive. Um, clothing brands. I am saying progressive clothing brands uh, because we strive uh, to create and produce brands that will meet international standards. Our first and which I can proudly call as our flagship brand is the Hector Peterson clothing label. Yes, Hector Peterson clothing label, June 16, 1976. <laughs> Uh, we actually came into an, a formal agreement uh, with the family of Hector Peterson to create the Hector Peterson uh, for commercial reasons, um, to sell it uh, to the South Africans, uh, which is me and you, because I believe that we have now to wear one of our own. Now, in terms of um, the proceeds that will be derived from the sales of the range, will be channeled to, to, to the Hector Peterson Foundation. And uh, such uh, proceeds will be channeled to the youth project in South Africa. Because we believe that it's about time now to utilize the name of Hector Peterson, not only to utter it and to commemorate it, but it has to benefit the youth of South Africa. Hence, it is. Um, associated with the, uh, with the youth of South Africa. As we know, the youth of South Africa needs upliftment uh, in many ways. Now, in terms of the youth projects that will be funded uh, through the sales of the range, the youth projects especially, let me give an example. In the township, you found a young person who's talented, who wants to render his talent to young people in terms of recreation. You know, that culture of recreation, it's dying in the townships. Now that's when now the Hector Peterson, the clothing label and the foundation will come in, in terms of reviving that, that culture of recreation because we don't want the generation of tomorrow that has no skills and talent. The talents and skills are dying and now it's about time that one has to do something and it's us who are doing that. Now um, maybe there are some who have passed at the Hector Peterson uh, Museum. We are actually opening a store there. Uh, it's a container. Unfortunately, we couldn't find a space, but because we are creative, we managed to get a shipping container. And we branded that container and converted it into a store. Soon, we'll, um, I believe that everyone will see when the store opens. Now, in terms of uh, the market that we were able to realize, uh, um, in that Princic, which now is called the Villagazi Princic, which consists the Hector Peterson Museum and the Mandela Family Museum. We have partnered with Brand ID. Brand ID is a company that um, have uh, the, um, the distributing rights of the 4664. Now, that area sees about more than 200 pre-booked visitors. I'm talking about those who book a month before. They book uh, to come and visit the museum, uh, the Hector Peterson Museum, and the, the Mandela uh, Family Museum. Now, we will actually 
uh, we are actually targeting that market to be able to um, to sell to them. And we have also partnered with the tour guides uh, because now we need the tour guides to be able to channel those visiting uh, tourists to our, our store. I believe that our store would become an icon store because now we'll have the 4664 that is associated to Nelson Mandela and the Hector Peterson clothing label. In terms of our past and future projects and plans, we have been involved in terms of um, being part of the initiative that is called the Take a Girl Child to Work. I believe that many of us, we are familiar with that initiative uh, that has uh, been supported by CELSI and SAWEN. SAWEN is a division of the DTI, whereby we created beautiful golf, uh, golf t-shirts uh, that were worn by the little uh, future business ladies when they were going for their uh, golf day and we also been part of the wardrobe section of the uh, film that is going to be produced very soon which is called cry of love uh, that feature lady dikumal even chaga chaga and other significant um, south african actors in terms of our plans, the range will be releasing the range for national now, which will be distributing it to, to the independent uh, clothing stores. Pref uh, hopefully, we have um, a chance also to sell through Edgar's because we are part of the South African Fashion Week, which has partnered with Edgar's, or let me say Edcon, to um, give a platform to the South African designers uh, to sell their range. But because we want to be different, we don't want to sell the apparel. We will be selling the shoe range, the casual shoe range. And there's a possibility again in 2015 to release an eyewear uh, through a company called Dama Optical. It's a company that has worked with a number of um, uh, local labels, so Stone Cherry. I think you have seen Stone Cherry at most of the optometrists, Lokshin Culture, and other brands. And we will be part of uh, that in the long run, but in the year 2015. Okay, in terms now of the marketing of the store and to market the brand, we have gone as far as, as I mentioned, to team up with the tour operators to actually to channel the, 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 the tourists to the, the museum. And um, again, we have came into a partnership, let me say, not partnership, but in terms of teaming up with Galawa, Galawa Jasmine uh, to be able to uh, for the artists to wear the range on their music videos and uh, also to wear when they perform at uh, their specific um, venues. Uh, I think one, some have seen the videos, there's a new group from Galas called 2.5. There are some that are now uh, wearing the Hector Peterson. Uh, soon your spigiri, your oskido and so forth and this big thing that is coming between Hector Peterson and Galawa Jazz because we want to make it uh, to be more uh, relevant to the young people because that's our main target segment, the young people. Even though we know because of the name Hector Peterson, even the, the young adults and the Nabokoko, Nabomkulu, because uh, I mean the name Hector Peterson, it means a lot to all of us who will be able to want to wear the, the range will be able to also to cater for them. In terms of growth, we are, we are in the process um, right now of uh, registration through WIPO, the World Intellectual Property Organization, assisted by the DTI, uh, because we believe that this brand has a potential to sell even overseas, uh, or let me say in other countries, even uh, in Africa. Now, through WIPO, since WIPO has member states, um, in terms of the legal part and trademarks, we are in that process uh, of registration. Lastly, I would like to thank uh, the following um, agencies um, because from where we are right now, even though we are not exactly where we want to be, but they've actually taken us from where we were and to be to here uh, to where we are now and still urge them to continue to do so. The National Youth Development Agency, the National Department of Arts and Culture, the Houting Enterprise Propeller, the Small Enterprise Development 
agency. And lastly, I would like also to thank the University of Johannesburg and uh, the Center for Small Business Development for the, this uh, informative conference that we have. Thank you. Um, greetings to all. Um, my name is Tabo Isaac Serame. Um, uh, I'm a young gentleman who um, uh, has founded or rather played a key role in ensuring that a program called WILED, which is Youth Leadership Entrepreneurship Development, exists. Um, just before I begin, I'd like to just share a quote by Steve Jobs. As he said, the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who usually do. Yeah. Um, just to share, while it is an inspiration While it is an inspirational youth development program that gives selected in and out of school learners the opportunity to have their leadership, interpersonal and entrepreneurship skills honed and their chances of success increased in life. While it has more than 50 schools benefited from it, while it has more than 1,000 learners benefited from it across South Africa, meaning we've done programs here in Gauteng, Limpopo, KwaZulu Natal, and the Western Cape. We have um, partnered with various organizations and uh, we continue to strive to partner with them in creating change we want to see. Um, our target audience, we target in school young people, i.e. grade 10 to 12 young people from public, semi-private and private schools and le uh, basically learnership participants and we also offer um, opportunities for the various volunteers within WILED to be bursary holders of the ver from to, to, to the various institutions like your UJ, your VETS and various other higher learning institutions. Why are we here? Firstly, there are more than 3 million unemployed young people in South Africa. South Africa lack the entrepreneurial savvy that is a cornerstone for establishing a vibrant and business sector. Evidence from recently, evidence recently uh, released from GEM, which uh, uh, Sir Pillay had shared earlier, shows that young entrepreneurs in SA choose self-employment out of out of necessity rather than being motivated by attractive opportunities. According to analysts um, from uh, Stats SA, 70.9% of unemployed young people between the ages of 14 to 34, the percentage of youth-owned businesses rather remains low at 33%. Thus, essentially, we are striving to resolve this issue. Our objectives. Our objectives are to deliver learning of life skills and seek to build a good foundation for continuous self-development. To develop in-school learners from different backgrounds with the purpose of preparing them for the future. Increase the employability of the youth by educating the youth on business and entrepreneurial skills to provide learners with the, nece with the necessary tools and information that will facilitate awareness with regards to their fields of study, employment, or business. Play a pivotal role in the development of the young mind towards a better tomorrow. Support the government's call for youth development 
and to promote youth enterprises and cooperatives by providing the youth with a real and practical experience in running a small business. Just to mention, last year we had uh, a program which we did with uh, APSA Retail uh, Business Banking. And basically, in one of the entrepreneurship sessions, in six weeks, one of the teams who participated in the group, in six weeks, selling beads, beads, made about 28,000 rands in six weeks. We, 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 we strive in imparting knowledge and skills for young people to make informed decisions and take appropriate actions, not just actions, appropriate actions. Um, what is our model? Uh, our model basically involves team building, life skills, career development, entrepreneurship training, and social responsibility initiatives. Um, holistically, our program model involves leadership camps, where we teach leadership, teamwork, team dynamics, and trust within the various participants within the program. Life skills, where we speak to stuff like communication, negotiations, and presentation skills. Financial awareness or, or literacy, personal finance, personal mastery, decision making and problem solving, um, time and stress management, and three key drivers of an effective employee, personal branding, essay today, and political consciousness career development. We speak to CV writing, interview skills, career development, um, i.e. career selection, job hunting, um, and bursary selection, career planning, and career expos. We've recently um, just did uh, an initiative uh, which we had named Kasi to Kasi Talks uh, in partnership uh, with uh, VIT. Uh, in partnership with the NYDA, and uh, um, we are basically just teaching career development to a number of young people in an area called Duorenkop in Soweto, um, and we basically called in these various organizations to just share their knowledge, share their industry expertise, and teach the young people on how to write these CVs, how to prepare themselves for work, and how to sell themselves to key people within the various industries in which they want to be in. Um, entrepreneurship training, establishing a business, market research and uh, innovation, opportunity identification, company management, rules and financial management uh, of a business, market research analysis, product selection, product technique, developing a business plan, sales technique, strategy and business planning, marketing the product, pro producing and selling the product and actually liquidating the business. Um, the last one is um, Wilet in the community, which where we play a, uh, a pivotal role in a sense that um, it's responsibilities of a fam, CSI as a strategic driver, community needs identification, and executing a sustainable community and society intervention. Last year, we went to a, uh, a charity organization called St. Mary's uh, in Rosettenville, and what we did there was to just implement a couple of our key training um, programs which we taught stuff like leadership, stuff like personal branding, and just have the kids from there to grow and understand that yes, they come from a, uh, a home, they, they come from a home and they come from a place where um, there's no parents, you know, uh, they've been taken care of and stuff like that, but it is not where they come from but essentially it is where they're going. And that's the type of mindset we're trying to change and trying to impart within these young people. While it in action, um, 
social skills, um, entrepreneurship challenge. Um, as you can see uh, within the entrepreneurship challenge, they have a production line, um, the young people selling um, snack packs. Um, leadership camp, this is the camp where they go and we teach the various um, leadership essentials. Um, we've called in, uh, you know, individuals like uh, Ms. Yvonne Chaka Chaka and a couple of basically great leaders and change agents. Um, this was uh, as on, on the top right, um, or rather top left uh, from your side, um, APSA Wiley 2012, uh, the whole team, those are the graduates and uh, the graduation day. Um, and basically, life skills uh, training. Um, what we want to do, essentially, as well, is to ensure that what we do, we can measure. So we have various um, evaluation techniques, um, stuff like attendance, assessments, uh, assignments, uh, milestones, class exercises, and, and test uh, level of participation, pre-intermediary and uh, post-test, uh, facilitators report, uh, facilitators evaluation, program evaluation, case study work, uh, business plan, sales reports, and liquidation reports. Um, we have a couple of uh, we have a couple of sort of course drivers, and lastly, then these are our various accolades. We've partnered with uh, FNB Commercial, First Rain, Accenture South Africa, APSA Bank, Juno Achiever South Africa, McDonald's, Limpopo, Limpopo Department of Education, Vets Business School, McPark Business School, Vets SRC, and we plan to partner with individuals uh, from the government, uh, executing with the NYDA, JEP, and various other organizations which are key to work with us. Thank you very much for your time. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are very happy to be here and we are very, very proud to be a youth member. Well, to, um, today I am going to introduce myself. I am Kaya Young, the Managing Director of Mashobane Manufacturing and Projects. Just waiting for, oh, there it is, wow. How do I go forward with this? This button went. Okay. All right, um, basically I'm gonna just highlight what we do, how we started, and then I'm gonna let you know how I started it and how I've suffered to actually get it where it is. And on top of that, I'll let you know what drives me personally as a young entrepreneur. So here we are. MMP is a fuel distribution, we're doing a fuel distribution project right now. And this is our logo, which stands for Mashobani Manufacturing and Projects. Basically, what we do is we offer a great service to the public sector, right? Whereby we do small distribution units to our clients of fuel, such as diesel. What we do is we distribute diesel at a cheaper cost. Let me explain how we do that. What do I Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Okay, the services we offer towards our product is premium services, high quality fuel, cost effective prices, and we deliver at your own fleet tips. Now, how we do that, we basically start off with the premium service that we offer. We offer our premium service due to we go to you, we market the product to you, we make sure you understand how we deal with the product, and we make sure that you are interested into the product. The product is a product that we use daily, ladies and gentlemen. Fuel is the highest used oil factor in the whole of the world. And what we're trying to do is just incorporate giving others fuel at a cheaper cost. Because now what we're used to is we are used to buying fuel at the franchisee garages, I, I, I guess, with all of you, most of you with vehicles. We buy it at high marked up prices. Now, ladies and gentlemen, my question to that is, why are we paying so much at such a high markup? 
when we are blending our own fuel in South Africa? Can't we be the first, first phase of a new implementation, such as we create our own fuel and sell it at our own rates, at our own franchisee that's proudly South African? I give heads up to Cecil Berg and say to myself, they are standing for us as a proudly South African franchise, but we as entrepreneurs, we need to do the same thing as well, which is our mission statement at the end. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to tell you how we actually started this. Okay. All right. I'd like to tell you how we started this. Basically, um, I ventured from high school and started registering a company. I'm a boy who came, who was raised by a single parent. And I am very, very proud to have my mother stand by me throughout everything I do. Because this is what I do not understand within today. There's a lot of us youth people that are raised by single parents, that are raised, some of us by no parents, by orphans, such as, you know? And all they do when we're, in, when we're engaging amongst our talks, they talk about how government is not doing enough for us. How is government not doing enough for us when we have a platform like NYDA to stand and talk to you people today? Um, I've gone through hell getting this company where it is today due to the fact that I've been, I've been, I've, my ideas have been stolen, I've been liquidated to the core. I have also experienced days whereby, due to the fact that my mom supports me in everything we do in this company, there are days whereby we, we ventured into the project and it failed and we went without basic needs. I can't venture into what kind of basic needs, obviously food and so on. But um, I believed, seeing a single parent struggling, I should be the start to change where I come from. I should put an end towards the poverty that is with our parents from where they come from. That's what I believe in. And this is how I got this company started. Um, toward, towards me saying that, um, Okay. All right. So, um, towards me saying that is that um, I'm very proud to stand here and I want to thank the NYDA for giving us such a platform. And the future, this is what I want for my company. I want a gas station of my own, which is going to be a franchisee so that you guys can all fill up at my station at a cheaper cost. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Nyabong. Good afternoon, ladies and gents. Uh, my name is Sipom Tembu. I'm the director of SITS Property Development. Firstly, I would like to commend the NYDA for giving us this opportunity to present our business in this forum. Um, our vision at SITS Property Development, which is a construction company, while aiming to maximize the potential of SITS Property, property Development, with regards to returns. We strive to make the real difference to the way we, we deliver our projects, be it small projects or big industrial undertakings. We do this by combining our knowledge and working closely with our partners and the community. That's our business details. If you want to contact us at our telephone numbers, fax, mobile, email, and the website and the address. On the service offerings, since the property development offers its, uh, its clients the luxury of dealing with one contractor. We do wet structure construction. That's your con concrete structures, your bricklaying, plastering, etc. We also do uh, painting. We employ modern, modern painting techniques, including wall coatings, the waterproofings and dam proofing. We've got people who specialize on the, on the waterproofing and dam proofing. We also do plumbing. We service block drains, leaking toilets, giza installations, including solar geysers, leaking taps, pipes, pump repairs, and new installations. 
We also supply a building material, your bricks, cement, your sand, etc. Our company is, is, is a, it's not a fly-by-night company. We are compliant. We are a level 3 BE certified company, which means if you do business with us, like uh, you stand a chance of scoring points, your PE uh, scorings. We for the valid tax clearance, which expires next year, 2014 in September. Uh, we are also registered with CIPC, and uh, we, we for the also a certificate from CIDP. Uh, currently, we are still waiting for our letter of co-standing from the Department of Labor. Those are some of our projects that we have completed. And the references are available on the request. Even the RTP houses, we can also beat them. I thank you. That's it.